Hello, my wonderful Aquarians. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, let's see here. Okay, guys, so we have one card. We have unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. Okay. So needless to say here, this is definitely someone who feels like there is some sort of unfinished business between the both of you. Now, you may not agree with this Aquarius. You may feel like things are over, but I just do feel that this person may have this um, urge to maybe say something or maybe they've been bottling up some sort of emotions. It's almost like, yes, they feel like there's unfinished business, but they're holding back from telling you something or there may be something they want to even admit to. Kind of like if I were to get this very thing off my chest, I would feel better about the situation. And it reads, we still have things to resolve and discuss. So there may have been a lot of questions that kind of went unanswered here. Or, you know, there could have been a conflict, but instead of instead of finding a solution, maybe the solution at the time was, you know, going into a separation or, uh, you know, taking a break from each other. So they still feel like there's something here that you guys need to kind of resolve. Okay, let's see. We have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck, and we have the Judgment card. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, potentially a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it seems to me that either a commitment caused a separation or there's something to do with the commitment um, where maybe there was some sort of a conflict, whether it's because you wanted a commitment and this person did not, or there's something about a commitment causing a separation or like almost like not knowing about a commitment and um, having a breakthrough, you know, in this bond by figuring something out. It, it's almost like either this person was in another commitment, right? Doesn't have to be, you know, marriage or a relationship, but how it's coming through to me is as soon as you were aware there was something else that this person was committing to, it caused a major change in this bond here. Again, guys, it doesn't have to be that this person's in another relationship, but maybe you felt that they were more, um, you know, committed to another energy or their business, or you just felt some sort of neglect and you feel like this person wasn't really committing to the relationship with you. Um, okay, let's start off by seeing how they're viewing you. They want to speak to you. I see that with the Page of Wands. Uh, you know, the pages in the deck are definitely the messengers here, but with the Page of Wands, I do see that this person is still excited to communicate with you, or they just want, like, they really have something to say to you. As I was saying when I opened your spread, I did sense that this person has, like, almost like an urgency to reveal something to you, maybe even admit, you know, some sort of truth here. But they're viewing you as someone that they want to speak to this week. They're viewing you as someone that they are wanting some sort of a new beginning with. But it's coming off to me that it's more so about communication, like breaking the silence or, uh, you know, reaching out and testing the waters with you. That's kind of how I see it here. There could be an age gap in this bond. Doesn't have to be the case. Some of you are dealing with the Gemini because we have the lovers coming up in the challenge position as well as the tower. Yeah, so exactly what I said. A choice wasn't being made. And I feel that there was some sort of like um, commitment or this person may have felt entitled to a situation and you felt like that was in the way because with the tower there's or sorry with the lovers there's no denying um, that there are very intense emotions between the both of you and this person may even feel tempted by you at times they may even feel that um, you know you are their soulmate or there's this very magnetic pull that they feel towards you that they can't really put into words although the lovers boils down to choices so some of you may feel like 
like, yes, the connection was very intense, but it wasn't really getting off the ground or you kind of had an idea that a commitment wasn't going to come out of it, right? So it's like, yes, we're connecting. This feels great. I'm very attracted to this person, but I just have a feeling that this is someone who won't be able to commit to me or I just have a feeling that this is going to be temporarily stable. That's what I see in the challenge position here. Um, a lot of Scorpion energy. We do have the Tower. We did see the Judgment card, but I feel like things could have possibly, um, you know, fell apart or they could have, or even the separation or leading up to the separation, it could have been very unexpected. But what I see here is your person is feeling challenged this week because they know that a choice needs to be made, but they feel like something happened way too quickly between the both of you and they were not prepared for that. So I can read this many ways. It could be someone who's like, you know what, I wasn't prepared to uh, you know, fall for Aquarius. It could be someone who thought that they were not ready for commitment and they had more time, uh, you know, or they had more time until they had to make a decision. But they're starting to realize like, yes, I need to make a choice, but it's almost like they're still grasping something that has already occurred. And for some of you, it could definitely be the separation where this person's like, you know what, um, I understand that we're in a separation, but it happened so quickly, or I wasn't expecting this. I I thought I had more time. It's almost like they're thrown off by something that happened. So for example, if you were, if you just chose to like withdraw your energy from this person because you were sick and tired of them not making a choice, I don't think they expected you to do that. It's pretty much what I'm getting here. The way that you're viewing them, some of you could be dealing with the Libra, but um, you're viewing them in the uh, justice energy. So either you're wanting some sort of truth or you feel like you know the truth about this person, you know the truth about the situation, and you feel like there's really nothing left to say. So some of you may miss this person, but you're kind of thinking, well, what is a conversation going to do if I already know the truth? Okay, with the justice card for some of you, select few of you, it could be that this person is in another commitment or they are married. Okay, for others of you, you may have gone through some sort of legal matters with this person. If it's not between you and this person, they could have gone through legal, legal matters on their own in their personal life that you're aware of. Okay, either way, something that I'm persistently getting is this person knows that a choice needs to be made, but it's almost like they felt they had more time because that's what's coming up in the challenge position here. I also feel that you're viewing them as someone where you may have some sort of truth you want to tell them, whether it's how they made you feel, whether you, um, you know, maybe it's, it's like a solution or an issue that was ongoing, but you feel like you weren't really able to share your perspective. Uh, but initially what I was getting here is you feel like you know the truth about this person and the truth about the situation. And for some of you, you're even viewing like having a conversation with this person as being a bit pointless. We have the nine of wands in your feelings. So you may have this person blocked or you have set very clear boundaries. And then we have the six of wands. Some of you, you know, because in your feelings, it seems like you're telling yourself, you know what, you have a lot of reasons or many reasons to be happy right now. So this could be pertaining to your success. <clears throat> Some of you could be very skilled at something that you do, even, you know, whether it's for work or whether it's like a creative hobby. But Six of Wands is success, victory, you know, receiving attention from others. So for some of you, you know, you, you are in this energy of, you know what, I deserve to be happy or there's so many reasons why I should be happy. But behind that, there is this very numb feeling with that Nine of Wands energy. There's this very, um, <clears throat> almost you feeling like you have to protect yourself and set very clear boundaries, which is essentially helping you, but it doesn't change the fact that it feels very difficult. Like some of you may feel that this is a connection where or I should say the separation has caused you to be very careful with who you allow in your life. Like, again, you know, this bond could have um, felt like an emotional roller coaster or it, it created um, or it kind of messed with your ability to trust again is what I'm seeing here with that nine of wands energy. Like, again, you have a reason to be happy. You may be, um, you know, walking into some sort of success. But with that nine of wands, essentially, you're like, it's really hard for me to allow people to get close to me again because of this situation. So some of you are still healing from what has happened is what I see. Yeah, death card and the magician. You want something new for yourself. Could also be that um, you're really accepting this ending because of some sort of emotional manipulation. Like some of you may feel like, yes, I'm hurt, but I feel like if I were to speak to this person again, they would, um, you know, emotionally manipulate me or tell me 
something that I want to hear, even if it's not the truth. So I do see maybe for others of you, there could have been a case of gaslighting or uh, you feeling like this person is making you feel crazy for things that you're upset about or things that are causing you some sort of pain. But with the death card, I do see you kind of feeling this week like, okay, I need to accept that things are over and I don't trust this person. I've set very clear boundaries. I feel like if I were to speak to them again, there would be some sort of dishonesty is, is what's going on in your feelings here. So the lovers is being clarified by the sun card. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo, the tower, the three of wands. Definitely a waiting game here. You know what I see, guys? I feel like your person, not only do they feel that they were not prepared for something here with the tower card, um, with the three of wands clarifying the tower card, it's like waiting for the right time or waiting for something to settle down before they think about their next move. It's like from the point of the separation, they have been waiting, whether it's, you know, waiting for uh, wh whether they feel like you're upset with them and they're waiting for, you know, you to kind of heal from what has happened or maybe they're still upset or feeling some pain. But I just see some sort of a waiting game following like something that was like um, an unexpected event. And so with the sun card clarifying the lovers, again, I do feel that this is someone who feels very connected to you. They can't really put their finger on why. Um, and with the sun card, I do see that you make this person very happy, but there's just a lot of waiting here. There is an energy of having a hard time accepting something that has already happened. And in a, in an odd way, guys, how it's coming through to me is like someone who is still in shock or someone who is still fathoming what has happened. Again, even if the separation occurred a week ago or a month ago, it seems to me that they're still processing how, you know, things have ended between the both of you. So we have the Emperor in their feelings and we have the Three of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. They are, they're very hurt by this, but I will say they're having a hard time allowing you to see their vulnerable side. Um, they may be very hard to read this week, but with the Emperor, I do see it as someone who's like, okay, this could be a father figure. They could be in a position of authority. They could just be someone who has an image to maintain. Um, they could even be well off, right? But the, but the thing is, they feel like they kind of just have to go, um, you know, day by day and, and take care of their responsibilities and they don't really have time to feel their hurt or they're choosing not to feel their hurt by using work as a distraction. And this is someone who is hurt, right? Three of Swords in their feelings, but with the Emperor, it's almost like they don't want you to know how affected they are by this separation. So they could have been very nonchalant leading up to the uh, separation here, or maybe they told you something along the lines of, uh, you know, they're not bothered or this is something that needed to happen, but they're definitely questioning how things occurred between the both of you. And again, furthermore, I think they're having trouble allowing you to see this very vulnerable side of them or this heartache that they're facing. We have the Queen of Swords in their feelings and the King of Swords. They know that you're upset with them, but they feel like they have a right to be upset with you as well. So some of you could have, like this breakup could have been, uh, you know, very recent. Queen of Swords, King of Swords could be read as, you know, two energies that went through a breakup, maybe even a divorce. Um, but they, they know that you're frustrated with them. They know that you're in this very detached energy, but I don't want to say they're matching your energy, but they feel like they have a reason to be upset as well. That's what I see in their feelings. And this could be the reason why they're thinking of you, but they're like, you know what? I'm not going to show Aquarius that I'm thinking of them because it seems like Aquarius is not thinking of me. Because again, how they're viewing you, very detached, someone who is, um, you know, someone that they want to speak to, but it doesn't change the fact that in their feelings, we have the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Three of Swords. They feel like a lot was said between the both of you. And they're like, how do we come back from that? That's what this person is thinking about. We have the Five of Cups, okay, and the Nine of Swords and the potential outcome. So this is someone who is stressed out about you, but Nine of Swords, first of all, is a very, um, it's like a mental prison. It's when you're thinking about something, you're worried, you're stressed out, not really an action-oriented energy. Um, interestingly enough, the Five of Cups is similar in terms of it's it's not an action-oriented energy. It's more dwelling in the past. It's more shoulda, woulda, coulda energy. Um, it is someone who's disappointed and, and it's affecting them on a mental level. But if you want to know what the block is, what I see in the cards is someone who doesn't want you to know that they are affected by this or they don't want you to know how affected they are by this separation. It's like they're more convinced 
or they're more determined to convince you that it's not bothering them because they're viewing you as someone who's not bothered. Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. I do feel like they're missing you. They're feeling very nostalgic, but this person may feel like they're shifting their focus towards work or again, they're using work as a distraction here. Um, when they think about how to work things out with you, they get very stressed out because they feel like there was a lot that was said between the both of you. And so this may have been harsh exchange of words. This could be something that they said to you. They're like, how do I take that back? They just, they're viewing the relationship as we have, we have gone through a lot together um, and there has been a lot of ups and downs, but I guess the downs are what are being highlighted this week where your person is missing you, but they're in a place of like disappointment and feeling like, well, how do I actually change this? Or how do I actually, um, you know, fix uh, what's going on, right? Eight of Pentacles is practical effort. The first card we got for you guys is unfinished business. I don't doubt that your person feels like there are things that you guys you know, should be speaking about, or there are things they want to bring to the forefront. I think that they're just very determined to be nonchalant, or they're having a hard time showing you that they're still thinking about you or this connection because they feel like you're upset with them and they're still holding on to some sort of anger as well with that Queen of Swords and King of Swords energy. So there is a little bit of mirroring, okay? So let's go ahead and see what they want to communicate to you. And again, guys, like Six of Cups is um, and Five of Cups, someone who is really missing you. It could even be that they're constantly reminded of you, but it's like they're pushing their emotions to the side here. Okay, what do they want to tell Aquarius? I wish things could be different. Yeah, there's a lot of wishing going on here, you know, because Six of Cups, Five of Cups focused on the past, feeling nostalgic, but with the Nine of Swords, having a hard time figuring out how they can move things forward. I feel you leaving me behind. So this person could feel that you're very determined to move on. We have the Nine of Wands in your feelings, setting very clear boundaries. We have the Death card, you accepting that, hey, this may be difficult, but something is over. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. That's that Nine of Swords. So it could be someone who is more affected by this at nighttime or they just feel like that's when they have, um, you know, their their mean time to actually think about what's affecting them. And during the day, they may have they may be very busy or they just feel like they have to focus on work or other responsibilities. OK, anything else? I'm so attracted to you. And this like came out sideways. This person has a hard time admitting how they truly feel about you. And for some of you, it could even be that they feel some sort of, um, or they're, they're embarrassed or they're upset that they still feel some sort of love towards you, or they're still attracted to you after something happened between the both of you. So even if it was a harsh exchange of words, even if it was, you know, conflicting opinions, they're like, well, why am I still attracted to Aquarius? You know, why do I still have a desire for them? is what I see here. Okay. So my wonderful Aquarius, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.